This is not something you see every day. A peacock walking the streets of New York has been hanging out in trees all morning after escaping its habitat at the Bronx Zoo yesterday afternoon. CBS News John Diaz live in the West Farm section where the bird is finally back at home. Finally back at home. Good afternoon, Mary, to you. And as you know, we've been on peacock patrol all throughout the day since earlier this morning. Been monitoring this bird. So I feel like that bird and I, we're good friends now. And I saw with my own two eyes that bird safe, safely and successfully land back home in the Bronx Zoo. Actually, about an hour ago, less than an hour ago. I wasn't fast enough to whip out my phone and take video of it, but I can safely, can confidently say that he is home. And that's exactly what these Bronx officials wanted throughout the entire day for this bird to make its way home all on its own. We're trying to keep the bird safe, man. A surreal sight in the Bronx late Wednesday afternoon. A peacock casually strolling down East 180th Street by Vice Avenue. Neighbors taking this video of it while on the phone with police. Then they tried locking it up for its safety in front of a residential building. The colorful bird, though, too smart and got out. Just flew straight from 1 East 180th and it just flew straight up into this tree. Sophia Damon says she saw the whole thing. I just didn't know that peacocks could fly that high so fast. We have raccoons, we have rats, we have skunks, we have possums, and now we have peacocks. They all come out from the Bronx Zoo at night. Bronx Zoo officials say they assume it's theirs since this type of animal is not native to the Bronx, and they have hundreds of free roaming peacocks in the zoo. The neighbors nicknamed the bird Raul, and for most of the night and into Thursday morning, it remained perched high up in a tree in the Crystal Garden, but then appeared to begin to make its way back to the Bronx Zoo, flying to different trees closer to its home, and then success, it was home. Really, we, we don't see that every day. Have you ever seen a peacock in the Bronx? Yes, in the zoo. <laughs> but not out in the wild. Not out of, yeah, not out of most. <laughs> Now, let me tell you, this really was such an exciting day here in the Bronx. A lot of people coming by, taking photos of this peacock. The NYPD was out here, too, you know, monitoring the situation and securing the situation to make sure the peacock was safe uh, this whole entire time. However, I will tell you one thing, Mary. One person who's probably not happy that this uh, fugitive peacock escaped from the Bronx Zoo, the man who got bit by the peacock yesterday. However, we are told it sounds like he may have gotten too close to it and that he is expected to be okay. We'll send it right back to you. All right. Thank goodness on both fronts. John, thank you. <laughs>